And hello fellow Tiger Space Bandit here with another episode of World of Tanks and today we are back on map highway and I'm excited about this video because I'm going to show you one of my most favorite positions on this map. Before we go there I'd like to apologize for pre-update 6.0 replay. Unfortunately I haven't gotten this map much and I haven't really been playing this game that much lately guys so I don't really have any new footage on this map. And I really wanted to show you this position or this play to put it more in a context because it's more of a play really than the actual position itself. Regardless, so I hope you're not going to hold it against me because this position is absolutely fantastic. So we are on a dreadful spawn. East spawn is pretty bad on this map, to be honest. Oh, hello, light tank. Overextending, just like that. So the position I'm talking about is right over here. That house or that building on my left hand side is not distractible. That's correct. It is not distractible. So you can basically hide yourself behind this building and use it as a cover. And if your light tanks are actually scouting the middle, you should have shots from this position right here without being in any type of a danger. Now, this position is good at shooting at these guys that I'm shooting at right now while waiting for the opposition to cross the railroad tracks at K9. And you'll see that in a split moment here. Now we're gonna hide behind this building just like that. Now don't pull too much forward because you can get hit right there. That's what I'm talking about. These guys crossing in there, you can actually put shells into them. Now, they could potentially turn around and shoot into you at the same time, but usually you have TD sitting at E8 or E9. So if these guys just decide to sit in the middle and shoot at you, then they're going to get annihilated pretty much. So we're going to overextend here a little bit. We're looking for shots right there, but we're going to scoot back behind this building and lose our sixth sense yet again. Now, as you noticed, we're winning zero line. So once we win that area, the opposition is going to push back. Or go backwards the way this conqueror is going so we have extra shots of damage right here on this guy now if you have to run off from this position you're gonna have to turn left to go around the train the train on the left hand side and go in between the buildings now let me show you how this works while playing a light tank i mean you can do the same thing with a light tank over here and that way you don't overexpose yourself and die right away early in the game I mean, ultimately, you want to get yourself in the middle of the map. But unfortunately, from this spawn, it's such a hard play. And you would constantly be under fire while you're in the middle of the map. So you'll be scrambling for your life. Anyway, as you can see here, we can spot these guys right there. And we're going to scoot behind this building right there. Just like that. So you can just poke your head from behind this building and keep spotting all those light tanks or medium tanks that are in the middle. Now, take a look at that medium tank. Look how high and how far he's come on this side of the map. And that's because if you want to overextend to shoot this guy, even in a tank with good gun depression, there might be snipers on the three line that will be waiting to hit anyone that's poking over the ridge over here, right? So as you can see, I'm not poking over the ridge. I'm just taking my chances and putting shells into this guy while he is overextending. And now our vanguard decides to go and engage him so he dropped off here and i'm not going to as you notice i'm not going to be poking over that ridge not yet anyway lose my sixth sense over here as you notice the opposition team is pushing up the k line so i'm going to keep waiting here until they push all the way through in the meantime i'll be looking for shots right here here i'm spotted again so i'm going to back off Again, playing a light tank, even playing a medium tank out of this position, it's you have to keep your eyes open on what's happening in the map to make sure you don't get flanked from behind or from J-line area somewhere over there. So now I notice that our sharpshooter pushed all the way through and no one is shooting at him. That means that no one's actually spotting him and snipers on the back of the map don't really have shots at him because he's not spotted right now now from this position where i am look you remember my previous video where i was under the bridge see i actually have shots under the bridge from this position 
But that can only happen if you're on top of the ridge over here. That means if you're unspotted. If you're spotted like I am right now, I'm gonna have to drop because I'll be targeted. Now this guy took my position, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to run off from this position. But no one is shooting us, so we're gonna try to engage this heavy tank that's on K-line right there. We put a shell into him. Unfortunately, we just track him. And we're gonna wait for our opportunity. We're gonna wait for our opportunity to move up. We're not gonna do anything drastic yet. We're just looking for shots. That's all we're doing, looking for shots. Now, next step will be winning town. If we lose town, I will be able to flex through here and support town. But if we win town, the next step would be progressing into the riverbed. But still, too many guns in the game. This is way too early to do anything. So we're going to have to play it really patient. So that's exactly what we're doing. By the way, apologies for third-person replay on this one again. But that's all the footage I could find. And this game was actually pretty good because it shows exactly the strategy and how I play on this map. So as you notice here right now, we have shitty driving skills. That's the first thing. But no, the town has lost. The city has lost. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop back here to support the city. And we are full health, so we should be able to take a couple hits of damage here. That's not a problem. So we take out that guy. Now we're going to try to flank these two guys that are on the zero line. So we're going to put a shell into this AMX M4. And he's started paying attention to us. So we just want to go around him. But we don't want to be targeted by both of these heavy tanks. So... I went behind the building here to make sure I isolate myself from the guy on the right. And now we can take this guy out of the game. But he gets taken out before we can shut him down. Now we're going to change our attention to this guy right over here. And this guy is what? Object 257. So yeah, we're going to put a shell into him. And he's in no man's land right now because he's flanked. So he gets taken out just like that. And now we're going to change our attention to this bulk horror that's down at k8 now this is going to be uh, a little bit of a dangerous play because what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come around first of all i don't want to head directly towards him i want to flank him from the side but this play is going to show whether i'm being shot at from the three line so i want to get behind him and behind his gun right here his turret rotation is very very slow so by the time he turns his gun, I should be able to put shells into him. Now, if I got hit from 3-line right here, I would have to run off. And I would be running quick. I would probably be running towards the riverbed, area J5 or something like that, to get under the opposition's guns. But since no one is shooting at me right now, that means there's no one, absolutely no one, sitting at the 3-line. And since there's no one at the 3-line, I'm going to make my way down there right now to see if we can flank the guys that are currently in the field so you don't see on the map actually but the opposition has won the field and earlier in the game you notice there were a couple of tanks at position e5 or e6 under the bridge where i showed you in my previous game because that position is really good and if you can actually get in there and start spotting you can clean up the field really easily right there but now because we are completely behind them and they haven't progressed all the way up to our area of the map I should be able to have shots at them and that was the thinking now one tank that I'm afraid of is Iron Rain and Iron Rain is still in the game he can easily clip me out that's why you see me going so slow and jumping bush to bush pretty much approaching it really slowly because I'm worried about that guy I know he has good camo and I didn't want to get clipped out at this time especially since the game is so close right now so we're going to destroy some buildings, because why not? <laughs> That's not the way to play, guys. Don't destroy any buildings. Because opposition can hear you coming, right? Yeah, that wasn't very smart. Anyway, we're going to climb up here. And we're going to get into a bush. One of those bushes, anyway. We're going to see if we can spot anyone. And we spot the Iron Rain. And the only reason I think we spot him is because he's on a move. So we'll be able to put a shell into him. But we get spotted. So we're going to drop right now. Hopefully he doesn't hit us. He is looking at us. But we're going to drop. He fired there already. We're going to lose our sixth sense right now. And we should be able to put more shells into this guy. So we're going to use the bush this time. We're going to bush it. And we're going to shoot through the bush just like that. 
But just like that, the game is over. Why? Because the opposition didn't win this side of the map. They should have won this side of the map in order to flank us. We were faster to win our side of the map than they were winning their side of the map. And here, this is just cleanup time right now. So, again, the play that I showed you is fantastic because there is a progression to it. So you fight out of position G8 where you can spot the opposition, potentially put some shells into them. Then after that, you can flex into the city. If you lose the city, you can help support the city. And after you support the city, what you can do is drop down to riverbed using J-Line. You go down to the riverbed and then from there you can start spotting the opposition that's at the three line. And later on in the game, you don't have that many guns in play normally. So there's usually not that many tanks at three line if you stay alive later on and you drop into the riverbed. Now there are two options once you're in the riverbed. You can climb up the G-Line or you can actually take the riverbed and spot area E4 somewhere around there and get these guys spotted so that your friendlies can actually shoot at them. So there are multiple ways to play it once you're in the riverbed and you win the middle of the map. It's actually not that difficult. Anyway guys, if I draw this map on this spawn in a medium tank, I'm gonna try to make another video for you guys to show you exactly what I'm talking about. But this is pretty much in a nutshell how it works. And the map hasn't changed at all. Maybe some bush mechanics changed, maybe a little bit of foliage changed. But other than that, I think the map is still exactly the same. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for now. Until next time, happy tanking. Space Bandit, checking out.